Hi everyone. Welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. We are going to discuss about line symmetry. So these are the topics that we are going to discuss in this session. We'll be discussing about the line symmetry's definition followed by which we'll be discussing about the perpendicular bisector angle after which we'll be discussing about an example based on perpendicular bisector angle the kite and rectangle followed by the equilateral triangle square and circle triangle diagonal and isosceles triangle followed by the parallelogram so these are the topics that we are going to cover in this session So let us see what is meant by line symmetry. If a line can be drawn dividing a figure into two equal halves, then the figure is said to be symmetrical about that line. So here if you see you have a circle and if you draw a line at its diameter then it is said to be symmetrical about the diameter. The line is called as the line of symmetry or the axis of symmetry. The objects which shows the line symmetry appear to be more balanced and beautiful. So this is all about your line symmetry. A figure with just more than one line of symmetry one or more line of symmetry then the line of symmetry of the segment will be a perpendicular bisector and the bisector of the angle will be the line of symmetry of the angle so here you can see a number of perpendicular bisectors which bisects the angle of symmetry here you have the real time examples of line symmetry if you see a butterfly has the line of symmetry through this axis and the symmetry is that this portion will be same as that of this portion over the right side of your axis so here you can see that the image of this leaf is symmetrical the region to the left of your symmetrical axis will be same as that of the region to the right of your symmetrical axis and in certain cases your flower will be symmetrical you can see that the left side of the flower about the axis will look similar to that of the right side in size and shape as well so this is known as symmetry next we are going to see that whether the dotted line on each letter represents a line of symmetry you have to write whether it represents a line of symmetry or not by writing down s or no here if you see if your alphabet c is having the symmetry about here it is not symmetrical hence your answer is no if the line of symmetry about the alphabet q is over here then it is not symmetrical it is not identical on either sides of the symmetrical axis whereas if you see in your alphabet a 
The line of symmetry which is passing through here shows that the alphabet is symmetrical in the left and the right side. So this is how one can say whether the line of symmetry divides the image symmetrical or not. So your answer is yes. Here you have the alphabet Z, which is having the symmetry about over here. Your answer is no. It is not symmetrical. Next we are going to study about the kite. A kite is the shape which has only one line of symmetry which is along the diagonals. So if you see over here about the symmetrical axis your kite has the similar dimensions whereas your rectangle has two lines of symmetry along the line segments joining the midpoints of the opposite sides. So this shows your rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Moving on, we are going to discuss about the equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all the three sides are equal. In traditional or Euclidean geometry, your equilateral triangles are also equiangular, which means that all the three internal angles are congruent to each other and they are 60 degrees each. So here you can see that the angles are congruent to each other and they are 60 degrees each. An equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry 1, 2 and 3. Along the line segments which is joining the vertex and the midpoint of the opposite sides. Moving on we have square. Square has four lines of symmetry along the diagonals and the line segments joining the midpoints of the opposite sides are symmetrical as well. So if you see, you have a square which has the line of symmetry to be the diagonals and the midpoints of opposite sides also makes the square symmetrical. Next we have the circle. A circle has infinite number of lines of symmetry. Along the diameter of the circle. So here if you see above the diameter of the circle, your circle is symmetrical. Moving on. We are going to study about the triangle diagonals. If you consider a rhombus, it has two lines of symmetry along the diagonals. So if you see, you have two lines of symmetry, one and two along the diagonals of a rhombus. Whereas for a semicircle, it has one 
line of symmetry along the perpendicularly drawn diameter that is about here whereas for a scalene triangle it has no lines of symmetry because the line of symmetry does not divide a scalene triangle in equal manner Next we are going to see about the isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has one line of symmetry along the line segment which is joining the vertex and the midpoint of the unequal side. So here if you see the line of symmetry is about this. Next we have the parallelogram. A parallelogram has no lines of symmetry as the angles in a parallelogram are not 90 degree. Hence there is no line of symmetry for parallelogram. Thank you so much for joining GTEC. Hope you would have studied about the line symmetry and its functionalities. Thank you.